Hi there, I'm Chris from Tippy Club Gaming and today I'm going to be bringing some uh, Fallout Wasteland Warfare onto the channel. Uh, I love Fallout, it's, uh, it's not really a secret, but uh, I've not actually had any of the Wasteland Warfare stuff on the channel yet. Uh, there's been like odds and ends coming up on the Instagram, so have a look, link will be down below uh, if, you, if you're interested in that. Uh, and also to my Facebook as well. Um, so the model that I'm painting today is uh, the, one of the mole rats. I've, I've painted two already and uh, I'm going to be painting up uh, the third from the set to, to go with it and it's also just like a handy way of painting the, like, like skin, like really pale skin in general. So it's a bit of a bit of a, a double hit this one. So let's load in this hollow tape and we'll see this next video. We'll start off by base coating the mole rat with wraith bone. We want to get a good solid coat down, and that will take a few layers. Leave each layer to dry before doing the next one. It doesn't matter about getting any on the base because we'll be painting that later, and it'll cover up the mess we make here. Using a red wash, here I'm using a coat to arms red wash, but any will do, we cover the whole model. Looking at reference photos from the Fallout art books from Fallout 3 and 4, they still have the red fleshy tone beneath the caked on dirt. This wash is going to help us achieve that. I've added a little bit of water to the wash to aid in the flowing, and once it's dry I'll be going back to deepen some of the darker areas, like under the chin, arms, legs, and where the body meets the ground. Once the red washes have fully dried, I mix a 50-50 mix of wraith bone and Ushabti bone, and begin to highlight the model. Looking down onto the model gives you an idea of where you want to be painting this layer onto. I focus on the tops of the wrinkles across the body, but I highlight some of the areas of the face that might not really get completely hit with light. But with the face, we can take some liberties. Add in a little more wraith bone to the mix, and then do the top highlights, looking at leaving about half of the previous highlight shown. Using Zandri dust, we'll paint in the teeth. A mole rat has top and bottom teeth outside of the mouths, which is how they don't choke while they're digging. Seriously, mole rats are amazing animals. If you want to, you can also paint in their claws, but with how I'm going to dirty them up, I don't. Using a sepia wash, we'll then give the teeth a coating, brushing towards the gums, so the majority of the wash is deposited there. I also take this time to dot in the black beady eyes. Following up to here is how I painted the mole rat pugilist for Rumble Slam. To dirty up the mole rat, I use Agrax Earthshade and haphazardly slop it on. Once I have the wash on how I want it, I dampen the brush with water and begin to feather the wash up to help it blend in the colours. And once the wash is dry, I stipple on some more just to make sections look darker in a more random manner. Moving on to the base, I look at where I want the dirt and where I want the concrete to be. 
I varied it over the three mole rats because the way the base is, it, it can be pretty interchangeable. Using Rhinox hide, I base coat the dirt. I also add some onto the clothes, which is why I didn't bother painting them before. I do three passes to make sure I get a good coverage. Using Eschen Grey, I base coat where I want the concrete to be, including any stones in the dirt. Using Dawnstone, I paint the middle sections of the concrete. You'll only need a little bit on your brush though, you don't want the colour too strong. And I do the same with Gotho Brown on the dirt. Using a black wash, cover all of the concrete areas on the base. Once I've covered these, I go straight to Agrax Earthshade and cover the dirt. Then I dampen my brush and begin to feather the two washes together where the dirt and the concrete meet. This helps to make the concrete look old and dirty. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't and hit subscribe to easily see my next video. Or don't. Whatever, you're your own person, do what you like.